What is going on guys? In this video, we are gonna be talking about exactly how to set up manual focus when it's pitch black outside in your shooting stars. You can see it's not quite dark yet, but once it gets dark, we're gonna be showing you everything you need to know, I think, to help you to set up your focus in the dark. I'm gonna be using my Sony a7R IV, but regardless of what brand you're gonna be using, these techniques should help you to set it up. I've also included uh, three different techniques that you can use to help set that focus which is gonna help you to ultimately find which one works best for you um, and go forwards from there. If you haven't been here before, my name is Austin James Jackson. I'm a professional landscape photographer based here in the beautiful state of Utah. And today we're out at Lake Powell, this absolutely beautiful scene. I anticipate the whole video to be pretty dark. Apologies in advance. It's all just part of getting your getting the actual video of shooting the stars when it's dark out. So I'm really excited to show you guys how to focus in the dark. Let's go ahead and fast forward until it's dark and we'll jump right into the back of my camera screen. So you have your camera out here set up in the dark. You can't see anything through the live view. That's, I guess, the first step that we should cover. Use live view. If you're shooting a mirrorless, I'm shooting a Sony a7R IV, but if you're shooting uh, like a Canon or a Nikon DSLR, switch to live view um, as opposed to looking through the viewfinder. This is going to help you dial in your focus so much easier. So live view, um, you can't see anything. First setting that I want to have you turn on, because I'm going to show you how to dial in the manual focus. Go into the menu here, and you will you can scroll around and you'll find something like a focus assist menu. Um, you want to use the focus magnifier. On your camera, you might have to turn that on. On mine, um, it's the focus magnifier, but it's manual focus assist. I want to make sure is on. Essentially, what that does when I zoom my focus ring. Um, and I'm adjusting the focus ring. You can't see my hand right now, but it's adjusting the focus ring. You can see I have times 5.9. This is zooming me into the image, helping me see a little bit better. That's what that setting does, which is gonna help you in order to dial in the focus. Now, when it comes to settings, when you dial in the focus, you wanna open that shutter speed up all the way, bring it to 30 or bulb if that makes it brighter. Bring your aperture all the way to f2.8. This is gonna allow me the most light here in live view. Even though it doesn't look like there's a lot of light, trust me, we'll be able to pick out a few stars. You can adjust your ISO. Uh, I'm gonna be shooting at 6400 because I'm shooting the night sky. Um, but it, you can leave it at 100 if you want while you're setting your focus. It doesn't really matter. Now. What you're gonna do here, and of course, make sure you're in manual focus, obviously, I guess. So go to your focus mode. A lot of times you can hit the function button on your camera. You can scroll over to focus mode, put that baby in manual. Now, when you adjust the focus ring, you should have like times 5.9 or however much your camera zooms in. And so that will help you. So one mistake I see a lot of people make, they adjust the focus ring. You can see down here, this shows me exactly how far away my focus is. So 0 0.2 meters, we know that is going to be way too close. A lot of photographers also make the mistake of just setting it to infinity, thinking like, well, I've heard that you should set the stars to infinity. I have shot a heck of a lot of lens over my time. I worked with a lot of clients. I've yet to see a single lens that infinity is actually in focus. Really unfortunate, I don't know why it's that way. I don't make the lenses, don't blame me. Now, essentially, you want to get this somewhere close. Usually somewhere right at the edge of infinity about there is gonna be close on most lenses. You want it to be close because the next step that we're gonna do, we're gonna use our camera's joystick and we are going to zoom around. Now you may notice that my stars have red circles around them. This is a setting called focus peaking. If you wanna turn that on, um, it's gonna be under peaking setting. It should be in the same menu there. I have mine on. I have uh, it on high and I have it on red. Again, you don't have to do this, but it does help you to pick out exactly where those stars are. That's how we're going to find our focus. So you can see right here, I have something that is nice and blinking right in the center of my frame. Now, what I'm going to do is click in the center button one more time to zoom in. Now you can see I'm at almost 12 times magnification. Now you can see that star nice and bright. Now I'm gonna go in and adjust my manual focus and you'll see how, you know, if it's way out of focus, you won't even see that star. But as I adjust the ring, I can make that star sharp. Now, the star is gonna be the sharpest when it's the smallest. So you can see if I'm at true infinity, I can't even see the star. Even when I dial it back, I can barely see it. Now, as I keep going, you can see I can get it nice and small right about there which is basically right where my lens goes from a meter to uh, infinity. 
So you can keep that in mind with your lens because next time I go out and shoot, the, the like true infinity for the star focus is gonna be at the same spot. So you don't have to do this whole process every time, you can simply just dial it in on that particular lens. After that is done taking, hit your image review button and look at your image. This isn't an exciting image. I'm not set up in the best spot. I just wanted to set up in a comfy place to shoot this video. One thing that I always recommend people do is to zoom into their image. It's really helpful if you're comfortable with your camera. You can see I'm in the dark here. I'm not lighting up my camera. I just have a feel for where the buttons are. So I hit image review. Then I'm going to hit the plus button, which is gonna help me zoom in. Now you can see those stars are sharp. They are streaking. My shutter speed might be a little long. That's a song for another time, but you can see it is sharp. That uh, rock there is sharp. Everything's sharp in my image. It worked perfectly. Now, if that is too much for you to figure out, I totally understand. The second method that you can use is called the guess and check, where you simply adjust your focus you take a photo, you review the photo, you zoom in just like I did, you see if it's sharp or not, then you'll adjust the focus ring again, you'll take another photo, uh, and then you will review that image and see if it's sharp or less sharp. This method obviously takes some time because you are going to be like trying many different focal or focus spots, um, and so it takes a little bit of time. So it's not recommended to do the guess and check, but that is a fallback option if you can't do this. A third option I like to mention is to get out to your location before it actually gets dark. You can go ahead and focus on your focus spot that you wanna focus on, and then set your camera to manual, and then you don't have to mess with the focus at all the rest of the night, but it's still good to know how to focus in the dark in case you bump your camera, you move your compositioning, you change lenses, or anything like that. So it's really helpful to know how to do this. It's an essential skill. Again, also getting comfortable with your camera in the dark is gonna be really, really important as well. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really hope it was helpful for you. If you have questions, leave them down below in the comments. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are interested in improving your own photography. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next time. This is Austin James Jackson. Adios.